Hello guys, this is another video and this will consist of uh, Twist of Fate versus Fizz. Fizz has been reworked as you all know and it is quite significantly harder than it used to be. Hence, you can't really trade with him too much. It's not really mainly that he has more damage on his Q or E, it's just the W rework and trading Ados is just really, really texting on you. I'm just gonna put up the panels as always. And I'm just gonna put up the champion of the TF. Oh, I'm misclicking. Okay, there we go. This matchup is really simple in how you bait Fizz with the Ignite to kill him. I will explain it in other videos, I hope, but I will always have it to bring up in case you're just watching this video of Fizz, how to play against him. Always try to red card and poke him as much as possible when his E is up, or when you feel like he will he won't E, or he's not his E is not in range even if he tries to dodge a red card. If you have blue card, never never blue card him directly. Blue card a minion next to him to bait his E. If he goes on you, tr always kite him backwards, auto kite, auto kite, until the point where he turns. When he turns, you should turn your heals on him. You should punish him for every little HP he took off you and chase him, because this will allow you and set up a basic kill on him. Here you see I'm holding off the card in case he walks into the ranged or the melee ones. I'm auto attacking. It pulls the melee ones towards me, but it's not a big deal. I can't red card the next one, or I miss too much minions, and I actually have to decide which minion I take there. I secured the rest of the wave, and we just reset the point where we are. I'm trying to see if he comes forth to blue card, to see if he actually start the W, or not. I tried to red card him to poke. He hits level 2 so he should have E up. Some Fizz don't scale it level 1 to have an easier CS lane and just try to sh dodge stuff and some actually scale it level 2. Here I'm trying to poke him for free. He ends up doing stuff in front of me so I'm just poking him. I proc the Thunderlord and I managed to take him to half HP. I keep pursuing him with blue buff trying to trade with him. The second Q misses, but I'm hitting level 3. I hit miss the cannon because I prioritized the wrong minion, which is just a basic mistake from me. I also locked the blue card which allowed me not to kill him. But jungle is pinging so I'm heading over to see if, if Lee's nearby, but I don't seem to spot him as he barely escaped. As we can see on the minimap replay. And as my jungle was wary of him, I'm trying to kite him. Here I can't use the minions because they're too few, so he would actually out damage me and he proc the W, so I just want to waste the active and make him burn the mana. Here I'm trying to bait him by hitting onto the minion, but he doesn't fall for it. He hits level 4 because of the wave is shoved more, so I should hit it momentarily. Here I try to poke him, because if he tries to Q and E me he would take a turret shot. This leads to a free kill because he overextends with the Q poke and Hecarim sees that so he charges in. I get blue card on the first one, which is good, because it deals the most damage, and I manage to secure the catapult minion and go back to lane. I'm gonna mirror uh, Fizz items. Or actually, oh, I actually have a lot more gold, because I got the first blood. I thought I got the assist, my mistake. So I got the preferred start I want, to 
two cookies, double Dorans, Ionian, so it's looking great for me. He doesn't have flash, so I can actually try to abuse him. Since I have the upper hand now, in movement speed and damage. Even though we're same levels. And I'm ahead in CS when I'm securing the this wave. So it's all fine. I ping missing because I don't know where Fizz went. So I'm just questioning. I don't have much info of Lee either. And I don't have my flash up. So I don't want to be try to be taken down. Fizz took a lot of damage there. And he used his E. So I know I can actually gain distance on him. And 1v1 him here. I just managed to do that. And card him and then auto attack. Because I know it's too long for him to have the E up at this point. He doesn't have CDR and he doesn't have it maxed out. So it leads to a free kill. Even I, even if I accidentally took a turret shot. But the turret shot was good because it might have not propelled him to actually go on me if I had not taken it. But you never know, it ended up great and I managed to secure the kill on Fizz. And my minions also helped because I shoved the wave. So you saw them actually following and poking him throughout the trade. Which was crucial but I might have gotten him with an additional order. But let's say it might have scaled to a free auto, and that's why you should shove and bait him towards your minions, because it will help you out damage him in the long run. I'm by Negatron Cloak because I've learned that I can't rush Lich Bane anymore against him. I've tried previous seasons, and if you're actually up even by two levels in 3 0, he still one shots you if you fully combos. I go for Vayne and manage to secure her. Now I go for Alistar. I run here after getting the double kill. I spot Nami's coming, so if I get hooked here, I know I can turn and hope Nami hits the bubble and heal. She actually misses it, but she heals me and speeds me up. With uh, her passive, I believe it is. So I just managed to escape because I'm quicker than Fizz. And it just ends up being a great play for me and an, and an easy escape. I go back, I don't really want to take blue and it should help hacker him go towards level 6 and he hasn't really pinged for me to take it. I don't really need it to be honest. I'm doing fine without it. My Samsa is about to come up and this should be coming up as my second alt or almost at the same time if I'm not misleading myself into believing I know the timers correctly but just judging how the uh, how it's moving oh actually I can see the texture oh I'm so dumb I'm looking at uh, I'm looking on the right side but I know now I can just look at the timers on the bottom screen wow I'm actually stupid I'm just gonna shut up a bit but my alt is soon up after the flash so I should be ready to roam I don't understand what my team was pinging so I actually didn't know if Lee was coming or not but so I asked my jungler and some other team member and one of them said Lee was coming and Hecarim said that he wanted me to take the blue buff without typing it so it, it just led me confused and I was just exposed for a gank, which was not good. Fortunately, Lee was the one taking it, so it doesn't really affect my lane that much. And I believe my lane appeared to be shoving on the minimap, or am I wrong? No, 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 okay, 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 they are shoving. So I actually need to reset it, and it's not that hard to do now that I know Fizz has no ulti, and Lee doesn't have ult either. So I just proc the Thunderlord and I play, I just resume the usual aggressive style. My bot lane seems to be dealing with the enemy. I didn't know Alistar had ult up, which was really peculiar, but I managed to get the two kills anyway. 
Like, why would the Alistar have ult if they turret over my bot lane and he's sitting on 15%? It's just really weird. Here I saw Fitz trying to flash Q me. Then I saw him moving up shortly, so I believed he's gonna ult, so I moved away. Unfortunately, my support didn't really notice it and ends up being taken down. <laughs> Which is quite unfortunate, and she actually writes dot dot dot, I actually remember this part. Jin could have baited there because if he got queued and Lee Sin would have followed, I could have stunned. There's not a huge chance of Lee Sin actually pulling off an insect at uh, like a bit higher platinum elo. He would have probably, maybe he would have done it, I'm not sure. But Jin just chose to be safe, he didn't want to opt in for the safe kill. So nothing came of it. I return mid and I have completed Abyssal. So Fizz can't really one shot me anymore. I go for the wraiths because there's not really much I can do. Fortunately I don't one shot them yet because I'm not level 9. So I end up collecting the big one so I don't take that much damage. I believe I should be consuming one of my potions. Yeah, I should. And I just managed to sneak, up some, sneak in some additional CS and proc my passive even further. And one example why you should be doing raves is you get a lot of gold on the passive. I can't actually see how much I've gotten, unfortunately. I end up being taken down because Lee Sin is insecting me from the turret. Hercrim also doesn't manage to kill someone because he just barely has his cool ulti up. All you all can see is still fine. They blew yet another double alt mid, and I have mine up so I can do a global alt and I can just return to mid without pressure now. And they're focusing the most fed guy so I can actually help my lanes more from it. I'm not really gonna fall behind to fizz at this point of the game, being up 6-2. I spotted bot lane is fighting so I tend to go yet for the vein and Jin managed to get her with the ult Alistar ult flashes for no reason when he's dead and I just return back to mid lane and I've already had my my fair share of impact in this game as my kills actually totaled the enemy teams and I've been taking part in 80% of the kills Fizz is heading top and I couldn't really have known that since we don't have any vision. He actually hits free kills which is quite surprising considering he hasn't really done much this game. He's just relying on Lee. I walk down because I see them trying to go deep but my team is returning back. I know Lee Sin is dead, so this ends up me trying to cheese the red, which I believe I should manage just safely to do so. Considering Fez is top side, Lee Sin just respawned and my team are still fighting. Jin managed to get caught even though Nami and Nautilus managed to get safely back, so it's a misplay on his part. And they should be getting the turret anyway, so it's not much we can do about it. And he can't wave clear against double CC and Vayne, because Vayne just kills him one, straight 1v1. He doesn't have any dueling power against her. It's just how the matchup works. I shove out mid, then I take account into the bot lane what's happening i don't have my ult yet up so i'm trying to reach from the 
for this distance at this point. I spot the Alistar at this side. Just ends up with us killing them. I don't know why they overextended. They just seem to be doing the same thing over and over and I can just take it and abuse it. Riven is overextending and once I see their three people top lane, I can actually just go for the mid turret. Accidentally take a turret shot. Now I'm just shoving the turret with red buff. I'm calculating how long it will take for them to actually reach me. And I'm just staying for the last auto. I'm not trying to secure the turret by taking it down myself. I'm just letting the burn do it. Here I spot uh, Lee and Nautilus. And they actually tell me Lee has no ulti. So this means they're just dead. Hecarim takes both kills and this should secure the turret. I believe I should recall momentarily. I don't know why I'm helping to shove it. Considering we already spot three of them and two of them are dead. And I'm getting low mana so I should actually be recalling. I shouldn't be shoving it out with them. I know their bot lane and Fizz is most likely there as well. And that it's warded. We don't have any vision so I'm just gonna... Try to safely shove out the wave by my own from a great distance. I hoped Vayne would overextend. I'm still hugging the upper side. Or I mean the right side. Now I'm hugging the middle one because it doesn't matter. They have already retreated away. Fizz stayed and he tried to all, all in me. I flashed because I saw Alistar above. I get healed and we just get free people for free. And this leads to a dragon because of uh, Fizz trying to 1v1 me when they had it for free. They tried to go for it, so Riven decided to go over and stop them. I tried to be in range to card over wall, but I wasn't able to. We secured the dragon because of its misplay, and it all ends good. Free throw and the dragon. When it should have been just them taking dragon seer kills. I pick up the free kill and I return to mid. There's not much to be said or commentated at the moment. So I'm just letting the replay go out. I shove mid because I notice Hecarim is taking red and it should be warded so the enemy team should be approaching him. My team appears to be trying to help him. So I decide to head over after shoving it. Stun the Lee Sin. He leaps over. The ward came, comes late so I don't manage to proc my thunder. Or actually I do. I see it on cooldown. I 
Hikarim accidentally takes it because he didn't think I'd deal that much damage. So I ended up with a blue. I spot Nautilus slow shoving the mi mid in, the mid wave in. So I decide to take the Raptors. I noticed that uh, I wanted to recall, but the wave was coming in, so... I told myself just to clear it out, then go back. Because I believe I should have Rabadon. Even ends up engaging because he didn't spot the other ones. I managed to get triple CC then taken down. I can't flash. Or actually, what? Did I have my flash? Oh, I actually thought I had my flash up there. I remember the point of this replay. Well, that's better. But I had. I just ended up being triple CC'd, so there's not really much I can do about it. <laughs> Alistar attempts for a pick, which nearly gets himself killed. He blows the flash, and my team managed to protect the turret. I go too deep, but it ends up for them still dying 4-4-1. Four, four, Cause I noticed my team was fighting and they were low, so I wanted to go for the red card and kill multiple people. But then it just ended me picking Alistar, kiting them, listening in second, which made Vayne and Lee overstay, get taken out, along with the Alistar and the Nautilus. So we just traded 4 for 1 and my play initiated it, even though I ended up dying. But I don't need any glorification at this point, it's just closing out the game methodically as quick as possible. Not letting them, them scale, because they have vein, they have Fez, it can be problematic towards the later stage of the game. But we have great scaling as well, like Riven. Hecarim, TF, Jin, and now me to peel for us. So it's not like our team comp actually loses to them. I actually prefer our. Since they can't really range poke them and uh, us and stuff, and we actually have me and Jin who are able to uh, make a lot of poke happen. Ooh, that's a neat ward. I spot Vayne by herself. So I just end up going for her. I spot Nautilus and Fizz, so I don't want to over pursue it. But for some reason we find Alistar here. So it ends up uh, with us trying to get the Alistar. Nami gets engaged on. I stun the Lee. I get ulted by Nautilus. I chase the Nautilus. We manage to like quadra CC him or something. And they should just open up a free in him. My team pings for Baron, but I think it's a bit greedy, so it's just easier to go for this turret. And then. Someone gets caught, but okay. Nami gets caught, but they managed to kill them, I believe. Uh, Alistar dies, and they're gonna successfully manage to chase down Vayne. I 
I cleared the wave and I should be heading back now, so it doesn't matter. I also managed to take the turret, so we traded off to the inhib 2 for 1 and I picked up the turret. I have my ult back up if this is uh, overextending, so I'm looking to ult for... I teleport below so I can actually card him, then he gets the Q into my wall. Here is here is Zonia because I don't want to eat enough damage in case we're actually doing Baron now. And I believe we're making the ping for it. So I just feel like this is the best play to Zonia. I don't really need Zonia against the other members of their team. So me actually staying healthy is better. I accidentally take one more uh, Baron shot because my team isn't nearby. It still leads to a free Baron. I'll start try something so I try to go for the Lee Sin and Vayne. Jin tries to ult but it isn't in range. We just shove mid and we should be going for top lane since it's the only turret left. So it's a free objective in gold for us to take. Actually right direct after Jin trying to also get over the wall. Then we just shove it in. I entered the bush to lock in cards. We managed to proc the fizz. I'm flashing out because I don't want to be headbutted into the turret. The fizz tries to go for Jin, but he gets shut down. I try to go for another kill, but I'm, but both of them end up flashing, and then they just surrender because they know it will be double in hip. Right, thank you for watching, and I hope this gave you some insight in how to deal with fizz players. And how to thoroughly gank bot lane. As always you can like and subscribe to the video and channel. Or you can also come and follow me on Twitch TV if you want to catch the live games. I stream at Twitch TV, TF Only West. And if you have any inquiries about Twisted Fate. Or want a video analyzed. Just let me know and we can make something of it. Stay tuned for the next video and thanks like always.